everyone, I'm Heba and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I have no makeup on. It's scary, I know. <laughs> but this is what I look like without makeup. And as you can see, oh, there's Oliver. He's about to open the door. He can open the door. <laughs> oh, maybe something else will interest him. He's not used to this new furniture. <laughs> but as you can see, we have new furniture. We don't have the mattress here yet for this for this bed. This was my daughter's room, or actually it is our daughter's room, but she moved out. She's in college. She'll graduate next month. Yay! <laughs> and she took her old furniture, her own furniture, her room furniture, with her to her new apartment. And then we painted this room. We cleaned it up. And, well, we need another bed in here for when she comes home or when other family members come home. And so we finally got it and we have a dresser and slowly but surely we'll, we'll get this room up and ready. But as you can see, this is going to be a get ready with me. <laughs> There's Oliver right there. There's our cat. You can open the door. Now let's see if he'll open the door. No, can you get it? You're trapped. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. There you are. Hop on up here. Something new for you. <laughs> yeah, he's here. Say hi. Can you say hi? There you are. You're gonna come on and sit next to me. Here is Oliver. Can you say hi? Hello, there's our cat. There's Oliver. Yes. He's 14 years old. Oh, we've had him since he was born. You sure good cat. Okay, let me get to my video now. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna do a get ready with me with new products that I bought from the VIB Rouge sale. And of course, some of my other favorites that I already have. And my birthday is this weekend, so we're gonna do like a birthday dinner, date night type of deal here. And I also got a ring light. My husband bought me a ring light. It was a surprise when I got it in the box. Uh, I was expecting something else from Amazon, a Christmas present. And when I received this box, when I looked at it, it's like, that seems smaller than what I thought it would be. And then when I opened it, it was gift bag. It was in a gift bag and <laughs> It was a ring light. <laughs> so, yay! Thank you, thank you, Shelkin, thank you. And I hope, this is my first time to use this ring light, so I hope the settings are good. Okay, there's all over. What are you looking at? <laughs> okay, well, let's get to it. Let me fix my hair again real quick. Well, one of the things that I got from the VIB Rouge sale... <laughs> Okay, let me get it out. Okay, now, one of the first things I, I got from the VIB Rouge sale is this uh, primer by Alginus, the Pore Corrector Anti-Age Primer. So let's try this one out. Let's see if this will work. Oh, okay, it's kind of like a white cream. Let's put this on my face. See if this will correct my pores. <laughs> Cause I've got plenty. Well, it feels good. It feels good on my skin. No scent. Do I see it blurring my pores? Well, let's see with the foundation. Next I do is color correct. As you can see, I've got my dark spots, my melasma. And what I like to use is by Urban Decay, the Naked Skin. I have two of them because I have, I'm going to use this one too. And this one, this is Deep Peach and this is Peach. There it is. First, I like to use Deep Peach to really get the dark spots here, especially above my lip. And my dark melasma spots here. Yeah, this, this ring light is really showing more of my, of my dark spots here. Hmm, okay. 
Well, first, let me kind of blend, whoops, let me blend it in with my beauty, damp and beauty blender. Kind of even it out and smooth it out. Okay, then I like to get regular peach and just kind of put it a little bit on the outside of it. That's helped me. And then on my eyelids, because my eyelids are dark. <laughs> And if I want to show my new eyeshadow palette, my new eyeshadows, I need something there in the back, in the back, the on the lid to kind of camouflage it. <laughs> okay, next for my foundation is my Fenty Beauty. I really like this foundation. This is in the shade 300. A couple of pumps on the back of my hand. Here it is right here. Then I have to work in sections with this one because it does dry down kind of fast. And then I'll get my flat kabuki brush. Okay, let's see how this um, the primer will work. Yes, I'll be turning 50 this weekend. Woohoo! The big 5-0. Wow. You know, I don't feel it. Or I don't act it. I don't act like I'm 50 years old. I mean, is there a certain way to act when you're 50? I mean, I, I, it's just who you are, I think. Me, I am kind of like a big kid at heart. I, I really am. Now, I don't like to put foundation underneath my eye because I think since I did put my corrector and I will put concealer on and powder and all this stuff, I don't need that many products underneath my eye because it is, there's wrinkles there and I'll, I don't know what this ring light, if it will show it, but there are wrinkles there and it's dry, so I just don't want that much product underneath my eyes. Okay, let's kind of build it up a little bit. Okay, let's see if this primer will do its trick. I am still feeling cat hair on my mouth. <laughs> okay, I think that's good for the foundation. Now the eyeshadow palette that I'll be using, it is what I got at the VIB Rouge sale and it was one of those that maybe, maybe not, but I went ahead and got it. And it is the Prism Palette, the Prism Eye Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I went to Sephora and I swatched it there and I kind of liked it. I kind of liked it. It comes with 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 shades. There it is right there. And this one here is the one I'm going to use. This one, yes. And it comes with a brush. But I typically don't use the brush that it comes with. And I will swatch these for you on my hand to let you see what it looks like on my skin tone. Here's the top row from left to right. Lucid, Eden, Unity, Sphinx, Osiris, Sphere, and Obsidian. Bottom row from left to right. Dimension, Parallel, Pyramid, Throne, Saturn, Eternal, and Lore. But when I went to Sephora and I swatched it, okay, maybe I'll get it. <laughs> so I got it. Let's try it out and see how it looks. But I'm going to be using this one on my lid for sure. Okay, first let me prime, put a primer on my eyelid. Okay, maybe I should tell you what my eyeshadow primer is. <laughs> it is by Benefit. It is the Stay Don't Stray eyeshadow primer. After I apply one eye, I like to set it. I will use this one right here to set it. And it is the color Unity. Alright, now let me do my other eye. So, yes. I will be turning 50 this weekend. Woohoo! The big 5-0. Half a century old. <laughs> you know, I don't feel like I'm 50. I look like I'm 50. I, my body feels like it's 50. <laughs> Just my sciatic nerve flared up. 
over last week. And of course, my eyesight. I need to wear my cheaters. And, you know, sometimes my knee and my hip and oh, my shoulder. But all in all, I'm just thankful that I'm enjoying every day, that I'm, that I'm here every day. Okay, now let's start with the eyeshadows. Okay, I think I'm going to get this shadow right here, Eden. I'm going to get this shadow right here, Eden. Just kind of tap it in and tap out the excess. Tap, tap out the excess. And I'm using the Sigma E40 brush. It is a, you know, a fluffy brush. And I'm going to get that right on my crease area and just go a little bit above it. This, is, this will be my transition shade. And of course, my eyelids aren't as tight as they were because I'm 50. <laughs> this is a pretty color. And then I'll just flare it out here. I don't want to go down because gravity is not my friend. <laughs> This is really nice, nice pigmentation, and it's blending very well. Okay, next I'm going to use one of the brushes that I really like. It's by Wayne Goss. It is a little bit on the pricier side, but I really like how it feels. This is the number 18, and this is the blending brush. It's really soft. I know it's a little dirty. It's really soft and I think it picks up the product well and it blends it in really well. So the next color I'm going to get is Saturn right here. And I'm just going to dip it in right there. Tap off excess. And then start in the corner and then just bring the product up. And then just bring it across to the corner of my eye. And this one's going to be in the crease more in the crease and then just swirl it around blend 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 get that windshield wiper moving yes my eyelids are not as tight as they were so whenever I use my brush my skin kind of moves with it <laughs> do y'all have that problem too or is it just me <laughs> okay the other side of here Okay, then I'm going to get the previous brush and go into Eden again and just kind of blend out the two colors together to kind of give it that radiant effect. This guy always gives me problems. <laughs> it's shaped differently. Of course, no, no two sides, no sides are, are alike, but... <sighs> Okay, next I'm going to get my Sigma E55. It's just a flat shader brush. And I am going to get into Dimension here. This eyeshadow right here. Ooh, that looks so pretty. Okay, and I'm just going to put that one all over my lid. That's pretty. What do you think? You know, I'm going to... Try using my finger and see if that would bring it up in there. Oh, I hear someone at the door. Oliver wants to come back in. <laughs> There's Oliver. <laughs> he missed us. Oh, that's such a pretty color. I like that. I'll close the door here. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. Oh. You see him? He's just cutting the door for me. <laughs> okay, let me use my finger. And you know, I have other Anastasia palettes. I have the Modern Renaissance for that, that I like and the Mario one. <sighs> Got the name. I'll write that name down here. Um, but yes, those are those two palettes I have. So now I have three. I didn't get the last one, the subculture. Those colors didn't kind of appeal to me, so I didn't get it. But when I saw this one, 
Okay, yeah. And then seeing it on my lid, yeah, that's a good choice. I like this. How does that look? Oh, now he's leaving. You come in, you leave. <laughs> Let me close the door. Oh, that looks pretty. Okay, now I'm going to get the, the Wayne Goss brush and just go back into Saturn and kind of blend it out. And then my Sigma one to really blend it all out. Surprisingly, not that much fallout from... There's that cat hair. Got it. <laughs> Surprisingly, not that much fallout from Obsidian, from this, from this shadow right here. Okay, let's see how can I deepen that look up. Okay, I'm back. The camera got hot and it cut off. So, sorry about that. So, my, I guess my next gift I would like to have is a new camera. <laughs> if you're listening, show okay. <laughs> okay, so, where was I? Okay, I'd like to deepen up the look and I will get another Wayne Goss brush. And this is the number 17. This one's kind of like a little bit of a pointy blender brush, blending brush. And I'm going to go into parallel right here. Just lightly tap. And then just go in the corner. Of course, start in the corner and then just bring the product up. So that will kind of give the eye look a little bit more dimension there. I don't think I'll put a lot. Next, I want to get the shader brush again and use the other side and go into Osiris to go in the corner of the eye. Let's see how that would look. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty, pretty. Okay, I'm glad I got this palette. <laughs> and the shadows are really nice. They're, they are blending very well. It doesn't look muddy on the eye. That looks pretty. Yeah, these eyes, both of them are different. One's a little bit droopier and pointed out and the shape is different. This one's my good eye, <laughs> my left eye. I am left-handed. <laughs> I mean, no two sides are, are gonna be even. Wow, I really like this palette. What do you guys think? I know I'm 50. And there are certain stigmas, you know, oh, you're 50, a woman shouldn't be wearing that, a woman shouldn't be wearing that much eyeshadow. But, you know, it's whatever you like. If you like it and you look good, hey, by all means, go for it. There should, there should be no rules on wearing makeup or how old you are and, and all that stuff. If there was, I'd, <laughs> I'd be breaking them every day. <laughs> every day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, then I'm going to get Obsidian, no, sorry, I'm going to get Dimension again and just kind of blend, blend the middle part out. I think applying it with your finger is a lot better because, you know, I do like that extra oomph on my eyelid. I do. I like putting, you know, the, the sparkly, the, the shiny, the, oh, the glittery shadows on my, on my eye. I do. I, I do. All right, I think that looks good. Now I'm going to really deepen it. This is gonna be a birthday, date night type of a deal. So what I'm going to use is another Wayne Goss brush, and this is the number 20. This one's a real, uh, a thin one. And I'm gonna go into Obsidian. This is the, the black shade right here. Just very lightly. Whoa, look at that. Can you see, just barely, look at that. Okay, and then I'm just going to go on the base of my lash line and just kind of smoke it out some more. And I like this because, you know, the, the thinner the brush, the pencil, you can control where you want the eyeshadow. Now I like to get that fluffy brush again and just kind of blend, blend that dark out. All right, guys, what do you think? Did I do good? Let's see here. I really like this. I really like this look. Next, I'm going to do my eyebrows. And I'll do that off camera because, you know, that's kind of boring. 
and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. And again, I hope that the zoom is in the correct position because with this camera, whenever I turn it off or when it gets hot, I have to turn it off. So when I turn it back on, I have to readjust the zoom. So I hope that doesn't confuse you guys. But I went ahead and used the Goof Proof Eyebrow Pencil from Benefit. This is in the shade number four. I normally like the Precisely My Brow, but this is the Goof Proof. This is the Precisely My Brow. And I wanted to get number four in the VIB Rouge sale because I, I just finished the one I had, but they're sold out. I mean, everywhere. I tried Nordstrom, I tried Ulta, so I couldn't find it. So this one is in the shade number three. I didn't use this, but, but I also had this one in the number four, so I used this one. This one has a little bit of a thicker, thicker, I guess, pencil compared to the uh, precisely my brow. My brow. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> and then I used my Tom Ford eyeliner, liquid eyeliner for my lid. I just like the dark eye. You know, I wish I can be confident enough to do the wing, you know, kind of flick it out there. And I've tried, you know, at night before I wash my face, I kind of will practice. But this eye will always go down and this eye will always go up. And I've tried it, but it's just the shape of this eye just makes it go down. <laughs> uh, but I'm trying. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to. I'm going to get that wing eyeliner. I want that cat eye. I want that Egyptian eye. You know. <laughs> okay. Now for my under eye concealer, I'm going to use the Maybelline Age Rewind in the shade medium. I know it's kind of kind of dirty, but I really like this one. And then just tap it underneath my eye. And then I have my Dampen Beauty Blender. And what I like to do is, from the ordinary, I like to use the Organic Rose Hip Seed Oil. And I like to put a drop on my Beauty Blender and blend my concealer out. That, for me, on me, it kind of helped get a little bit more moisture underneath my eye. Because again, I am 50 this week, and I need a lot of moisture underneath my eye. So there we go. I'll just put one drop on it, and then just kind of dab, 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 dab. Blend, 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 blend. I think that really helps with the moisture, to, to put a little bit of moisture underneath my eye. And this one's the smaller beauty blender. That's what I like to use for underneath my eye. <sighs> No amount of concealer or powder will get rid of my wrinkles <laughs> underneath my eye. It is what it is, my friends. It is what it is. <laughs> oh, let me try not to smile because I'm going to set it. I don't want the wrinkles. I don't want the powder to set in my wrinkles. And then I like to use the RCMA, yes, the RCMA powder to set my concealer. And then what I like to use is this brush by Sigma, and this is the F. 86. This is kind of a tapered foundation brush, I guess, or powder brush. I know a lot of people don't like the application or where, you know, it's in this like this tube, but with this brush, I'm able to just kind of tap it in there. And that way I don't have to mess with pouring it out and get all messy and powdery. And then just, just kind of set it, just kind of tap, 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 tap. I know all over YouTube they usually bake their eyes, but I think I've tried it and it just, it doesn't work with me. Maybe I need to find the right concealer and the right powder that would work well together, that would work, but I haven't found that combo yet. And I'd like to put a little bit down my nose to give my nose a little bit more of a slenderness, I guess you could say. And then I will just kind of brush out any excess. Not excess, excess. Now let's see what I can do for underneath my eye. Alright, let me go with Saturn. And I'm going to use my E45 by Sigma. It's kind of a little bit of a pointy end. And go underneath my eye. Okay, then let me go with Parallel. Kind of deepen it up a little bit. Next, I'd like to use my eye pencil by Urban Decay. 
And I did get another one at the at the VIB Rouge sale because this one's getting kind of small. And this is in the shade Perversion. Now this one, the eye pencil is kind of soft and I have to, you know, sharpen it every every time I use it. And what I like to do is go inside my waterline and go underneath the tight line. Is that right? Yes, the tight line and then inside the waterline. All right, how does that look? Then I'll do my mascara, I'll do that off camera. All right, just finished the mascara. I used two mascaras and a primer. The primer and the mascara by Revitalash and the Lancome Miss Your Big. And I really like I really like the Lancome one. It gives me volume. Now the next thing I like to use is by Hourglass and I picked this up in the VIB Rouge sale. And it comes with six different shades. It comes with, I guess, a powder, two blushes, and a bronzer. This is the first time I've used Hourglass. Some of their, I guess, their highlighters and bronzers and blushes. So I was tempted to see, you know, so I got the the set that comes with all of them. I'll use this one as a bronzer. And I have the, the knockoff NARS bronzer. Rush. So I figured this would be nice because it's like an all-in-one. Your highlighter, your bronzer, and your blush, and your powder you know, to take with you travel. So, okay. We'll try it and see if this will work on me, on my skin tone. Okay, now it says here on on their little card here. <laughs> I've got to read a card for instructions. It says here to use this one first and then to layer this one on top. So we'll try that. And I'll use this brush, the Real Techniques brush, blush brush. And I will use the light pink one here. I don't know how pigmented this is, so let me see. Okay, and then I will layer the one in the middle. I don't know how that works. Okay, let me try it. Okay, let me just blend, blend, blend. Wow, I can see everything with this new ring light. And it says this one is the highlight. This one is the highlight, so I will use that one. All right, I got my brush, my highlighter brush, and I will use this one here in the middle. Let's see if that will work on me. No. It's on the other side. I guess it'll be all right. Maybe I just needed a bit more. I also like to put some on my brow bow to give it a little bit of highlight there. I guess it'll be okay. It'll be all right. Now this product right here, I should have waited for the VIB Rouge, but oh well. It is by La Mer and it is the finishing powder the sheer pressed powder <laughs> and this is in the shade medium deep and and I actually really like this all right next I'm going to go and do my hair and change my clothes and I will be right back all right I'm back did my hair and I used my new t3 trio swirl curling iron, curling wand, and I used the one and a half inch wand. It took me a while because I wasn't used to it. I, I My old one was the clip version, you know, just the regular drugstore kind. And you do need a glove, and it does come with a glove, so you do need a glove. I just, you know, took it and just wrapped it around. And I really like this. I really like this. This was a good investment right here. And then the lipstick I used was by Besame, and it is the Blood Red. Just love, love, love this color. And I figured, you know, red would look good with this eye look. I think so. I don't know. Do you think the red lipstick is a little too much? Maybe I need to go with the, like, a neutral nude type? I'll play around with it. Maybe I'll do this look again another time and use uh, a, a neutral type lip. 
All right, and changed my top, put on some earrings, and I am ready to go celebrate with my husband for my 50th birthday. Okay, so the products that I used that were new from the VIB Rouge was the Curling Wand, the Anastasia of Beverly Hills palette, and the Hourglass Edit, and the primer. And I think I like this eye look. I really like this Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Prism palette. I really like this. And to think that I wasn't about to get this one. This one was kind of meh, maybe, maybe not. But again, when I saw it in the store and I swatched it, I thought, okay, especially the dimension, the one in the corner, the one that's on my lid now. And I kind of like the Hourglass one, the Edit palette. I like this one. I like the blush. It's not very, poof, you know, in there. It's, it's subtle. And even the highlight, maybe the highlight, I may just stick with my Wet n Wild one. But all in all, and I like the primer. I really like the primer. And I found out about the primer from Uppies Beads 59, uh, Tammy. She's also a wonderful YouTuber. I'll link her channel down below so you can check her out. And thank you guys for watching and watching Oliver come in through that door and having fun around here. That was fun. <laughs> and enjoying my new bedroom furniture in this uh, this room, in our daughter's room. It's now kind of like a, a guest suite, you could say. Still waiting for the mattress, but we'll get that soon. And I love my new ring light. Thank you, Shilkin. I really like it. That was a nice surprise. Thank you. All right, thank you guys for watching this Get Ready With Me for my 50th birthday makeup tutorial, I guess you could say. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos from this 50-year-old. <laughs> Hopefully I'll live for another 50 years. I know I won't look like this. I know things will be a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> sagging and wrinkly but that's part of life that's part of life but it's all good it's all fun you know yes 50 is a number and it just depends on how you feel how you have your outlook on life me I always try to keep my childhood enthusiasm I think that was in the movie Under the Tuscan Sun when they were talking and, and they mentioned something about keeping your childhood enthusiasm and that's, that's how I've always been. You know, I still watch Disney movies on, card, on the TV. Even when the kids aren't here, I'll still watch it. I just love it. I just love the simple things, I guess you could say. The cute things. But anywho, it is what it is, and this is how I am. This is me. <laughs> Again, thank you so much for watching, and you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.